Welcome to World Celebrity Island, your ultimate destination for all things Hollywood, entertainment, and beyond. Today, we're diving deep into the enigmatic world of one of Hollywood's most eccentric and beloved actors, Nicolas Cage. From his iconic performances to his off-screen adventures, Nicolas Cage has captivated audiences worldwide with his unique charm and undeniable talent. Join us as we explore the fascinating journey of this cinematic legend. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to World Celebrity Island and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates and exclusive content. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Biography Nicholas Cage Born Nicholas Kim Coppola on January 7, 1964, in Long Beach, California, was destined for the limelight as a member of the famous Coppola family, renowned in the film industry. His father, August Coppola, was a literature professor and his mother, Joy Vogelsing, was a dancer and choreographer. Cage's uncle is the acclaimed director Francis Ford Coppola, which provided him with a unique entryway into the world of cinema. Growing up, Cage developed a fascination with acting and cinema, inspired by his family's involvement in the industry. Despite this, he initially chose to pursue a career in music, forming a band called, Eradicator, before eventually deciding to focus on acting. He changed his last name to, Cage, inspired by the comic book character Luke Cage, to create his own identity in Hollywood and avoid accusations of nepotism. Cage's early career saw him taking on a variety of roles, often in low-budget or independent films. His breakout role came in 1983 with, Valley Girl, where he showcased his ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. Throughout the 1980s and early 1990s, Cage built a reputation for himself as a versatile actor, starring in films such as, Raising Arizona, Moonstruck, and, Leaving Las Vegas. In 1995, Cage won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his haunting portrayal of an alcoholic in, Leaving Las Vegas, solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most talented and respected actors. He continued to take on diverse roles in both mainstream blockbusters and independent films, showcasing his range and willingness to take risks. Cage's filmography is as eclectic as it is extensive, spanning genres ranging from action and drama to comedy and science fiction. Some of his notable performances include, The Rock, Con Air, Adaptation, National Treasure, and Lord of War. His unique screen presence and ability to fully embody characters have made him a beloved figure among audiences worldwide. Beyond his acting career, Cage has also made headlines for his colorful personal life, including his multiple marriages and financial struggles. However, his dedication to his craft and his passion for storytelling have remained constants throughout his career. In conclusion, Nicolas Cage's journey from a Hollywood legacy to becoming an iconic actor is a testament to his talent, determination, and willingness to take creative risks. With a career spanning decades and an impressive body of work, Cage continues to captivate audiences with his unforgettable performances and enduring presence in the world of cinema. Net Worth Nicolas Cage's net worth has been a topic of interest and speculation due to his prolific career and occasional financial troubles. At the height of his career, Cage was one of the highest-paid actors in Hollywood, earning millions for his roles in blockbuster films. However, despite his substantial earnings, Cage faced financial challenges, including extravagant spending and legal issues, which reportedly led to significant debt and the need to sell off numerous properties and assets. Estimates of Nicolas Cage's net worth vary widely, with some sources suggesting he was worth well over $100 million at one point in his career. However, Due to his financial setbacks, including foreclosures on properties and legal battles with former business managers, his net worth has fluctuated over the years. Cage's net worth is estimated to be in the range of $25 million to $30 million. While this is still a substantial amount by most standards, it represents a significant decrease from his peak earnings. Despite his financial challenges, Cage continues to work steadily in the film industry, taking on roles in both mainstream and independent productions. It's important to note that net worth estimates are speculative and can be influenced by various factors, including fluctuations in asset values and ongoing financial obligations. Nonetheless, Cage's enduring popularity and talent ensure that he remains a prominent figure in Hollywood, with the potential to continue building his wealth through his work in the entertainment industry.
Relationship Nicolas Cage's relationships and family life have been the subject of public interest throughout his career. Cage has been married multiple times and has children from different relationships. Cage's first marriage was to actress Patricia Arquette in April 1995, but the union ended in divorce after only nine months. He then married singer and songwriter Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of music legend Elvis Presley, in August 2002. However, this marriage also ended in divorce after a relatively short period. In 2004, Cage married Alice Kim, a former waitress, and they remained together for over a decade before separating in 2016. During their marriage, they welcomed a son named Kal-El Cage, born in 2005. The name, Kal-El, is a reference to the birth name of the fictional character Superman, highlighting Cage's fascination with comic books and pop culture. In addition to his biological son, Cage has also been involved in the upbringing of Weston Coppola Cage, his son from a previous relationship with actress Christina Fulton. Weston, born in 1990, followed in his father's footsteps and pursued a career in acting and music. Cage's relationships and family life have occasionally made headlines, with his high-profile marriages and personal struggles garnering attention from the media. Despite the challenges he has faced in his personal life, Cage remains dedicated to his children and continues to balance his career in Hollywood with his responsibilities as a parent. While Cage's romantic relationships have been characterized by both success and failure, his commitment to his children and his enduring presence in the entertainment industry reflect his complex journey as both a public figure and a family man. House and Mansions Nicolas Cage's real estate portfolio has been as eclectic and extravagant as his on-screen characters. Over the years, Cage has owned a number of lavish properties, including several mansions, estates, and even private islands. However, his real estate ventures have also been marred by financial difficulties, including foreclosures and forced sales. One of Cage's most notable properties was his former Bel Air mansion in Los Angeles, which he purchased in 1998 for around $7 million. The mansion boasted stunning views of the city and ocean, as well as luxurious amenities such as a 35-seat home theater and a wine cellar. Cage reportedly spent millions renovating and customizing the property to his liking. In addition to his Bel Air mansion, Cage has owned several other impressive properties around the world. He once owned a waterfront mansion in Newport Beach, California, which he reportedly purchased for over $25 million. This sprawling estate featured a private beach, a guesthouse, and extensive landscaping. Cage's real estate holdings also included properties in New Orleans, Las Vegas, and the Bahamas, among other locations. At one point, he even owned a private island in the Bahamas called Leaf Cay, which he reportedly purchased for $3 million. The island featured pristine beaches, lush vegetation, and panoramic ocean views. However, Cage's financial troubles eventually caught up with him, leading to the forced sale of many of his properties. His Bel Air mansion, in particular, was sold at a significant loss in 2006 after he defaulted on the mortgage. Other properties were sold through foreclosure auctions or listed for sale at reduced prices. Despite his financial setbacks, Cage has continued to invest in real estate, albeit on a smaller scale. He has owned properties in Las Vegas, where he reportedly enjoys spending time, and has also been spotted house hunting in various locations around the world. While Nicolas Cage's real estate ventures have been marked by both success and failure, his penchant for luxury and his eclectic taste in properties have made him a fascinating figure in the world of celebrity real estate. Car Collections Nicolas Cage, the renowned actor, has a diverse and impressive car collection that reflects his passion for luxury and exotic automobiles. Over the years, Cage has owned a variety of high-end vehicles, ranging from classic Ferraris to iconic Porsches and even rare Jaguars. His collection includes notable cars such as Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, and Rolls Royces, each representing a different era and style in automotive history. Lamborghini Diablo VT1 of Cage's prized possessions is the Lamborghini Diablo VT, a supercar known for its powerful V12 engine and striking design. This car symbolizes Cage's success during the 1990s when he starred in blockbuster films like Con Air and Face Off. Ferrari Enzo Another standout in Cage's collection is the Ferrari Enzo, a limited-production supercar named after the founder of Ferrari. Acquiring this vehicle showcased Cage's affinity for high-performance automobiles and his appreciation for Italian craftsmanship. 
Porsche 356 Speedster Cage also owned a classic Porsche 356 Speedster, a 1955 model that holds significant historical value as it laid the foundation for Porsche's iconic 911 series. Despite no longer owning this car, its legacy in automotive history remains intact. Jaguar D-Type among Cage's collection was a Jaguar D-Type, a legendary racing car designed for endurance events like Le Mans. While he eventually sold this classic vehicle to address financial obligations, its association with motorsport excellence added prestige to his car collection. Rolls-Royce Ghost and Phantom II Coupe In addition to his sports cars, Cage indulged in luxury sedans by owning Rolls-Royce models like the Ghost and Phantom II Coupe. These bespoke vehicles exemplify his taste for opulence and elegance on the road. Overall, Nicholas Cage's car collection reflects his eclectic taste in automobiles, ranging from high-performance supercars to classic luxury vehicles. Despite having to part ways with some of his cars due to financial challenges, Cage's passion for collecting unique and prestigious automobiles remains evident through his impressive fleet. And that's a wrap on our exploration of Nicholas Cage's incredible career and life. We hope you enjoyed the journey as much as we did. Remember, there's always more to discover here on World Celebrity Island, so make sure to stay tuned for more celebrity deep dives, news, and features. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates, hit that like button if you found this video entertaining, share it with your fellow movie buffs, and drop us a comment below with your favorite Nicolas Cage movie or memory. Until next time, keep shining bright in the world of stars.